Hi there, welcome to Anybody Can Build. In this video, we are going to see how to create a simple yet delightful hover animation for your Webflow projects that you can utilize to make your websites more fun. Let's take a look. The website that we are going to see today is this gameon.polygon.technology. When we come to this website and we start hovering on any of these cards, you will see that it has some sort of a 3D effect, which is very fun to play with. So when I hover on any of these sides, you'll see that the card moves in the 3D space. This is what we are going to learn how to do today. Let's start with a blank canvas in Webflow. In the body, I will add a new div block. This div block will be my BG, my background, and I'll just call it 100% width and 100 VH height and let's give this some background color let's do a dark color like this okay inside the BG I will add another div block and this div block will be my card container and this card container will again have a div block inside it which I will call my card. Okay, so the BG has a card container and then card container has a card. All right, so first of all, what I will do is I will select my BG and make it flexbox to center align everything. And now my card container is in the center of the page. I will select my card and I will give it some width, let's say 400 pixels and 500 pixels height and here let's give it some border radius as well and a background color so let's do a similar something like this all right Let's also add some shadow. Let's keep distance to zero. Blur will be 60. I'm making the shadow a bit darker so that it's easier for us to see. Let's keep it to this. Okay. Here is our card. When I hover on it, nothing happens. But wait. What we need to do is we need to add an animation to this card element. So select the card element, go to Webflow interactions on the top right and we will select element trigger. Click on the plus icon and here there are multiple triggers. Mouse click, mouse over. The one we want is mouse move over element. So when we move our mouse over this element, we want something to happen. Select this and in the action, I will say play mouse animation and click plus. To create a new animation let's call this 3d card animation or let's call this 3d card hover okay so it has mouse x action and mouse y action before moving any further let's refresh our geometry very quickly this is our x axis pardon my handwriting and this is our y axis This is Y, this is X. When we move right on the X axis, that's positive. When, when we move left, that's negative. Same thing when we move up on the Y axis, that's positive. When we move down, that's negative. All right, let's come back to Webflow. What this means is, let's take it step by step. The X action changes the X axis value of the element that we have selected if we have selected the card we are animating the card the zero percent is this point the leftmost point and hundred percent is the rightmost point and based on these points we can change anything in the card we can move it we can change the rotation so let's see when the card is hovered upon on the left side i want it to tilt towards that side so i will click on zero percent and here there are multiple uh, properties that we can give it. So let's do rotate. When we hover on the left most point of the card, 
in the x axis it should rotate as per y axis like this what i will do is it will rotate minus let's say 6 degrees and on the 100% which is the rightmost point it will rotate 6% towards the right now the y axis i will do the same thing i will rotate but this time we will rotate as per x axis so here we will do 6 at 0% and minus 6 at 100% let's take a look so it is changing but this doesn't look 3d right this looks very flat well the reason is right now the card is sitting on a table so imagine that if a paper is sitting on a table you you have a paper lying on the table and you try to press the paper does something happen no you can't press because it's on the table it's on a flat surface it's not in a 3d plane where it can move right so same thing is happening here the card is sitting on a table right now we need to create some 3d space around it so that it can move when we hover on it all right so how do we create that 3d space you select the parent element which is the card container and let's come to styles and here when you come down to 2d and 3d transform you will see there are three dots here click on that and give it children perspective so let's do 1000 pixel remember that you have to do it for the parent of your element which is being animated so we were animating the card that's why i have selected the parent of it which is card container and that is what i'm giving children perspective to the distance is 1000 pixels that's it now when i go to preview and take a look this is how it looks now what we've done is we have created some sort of a area around the card and the card is able to move in that area in that box all right that's a simplistic explanation that i'm giving right now now you'll see that it looks good it moves in the 3d plane let's make one more change let's go to our card animation and here you will see there is a thing called smoothing let's make the smoothing to 90% and preview again and you will see that your card is much more smooth now all right and this is how you can create a 3d card so every website will have some sort of cards on it right and you can add this animation to those cards and it will be very fun for your users to play with this this was a simple yet delightful animation to add in your webflow projects from the next time we will keep building smaller animations like these that you can add to your projects and uplift the design don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an update from our end